This is David Spears, civil engineering instructor at Texas Tech University, talking about Statics 2301, exam number two, page number two. This is a composite of the three versions of the tests. So, what we had was uh, several vectors in three dimensional coordinates. And we want to know moments and shortest distances, couples. So we'll start with a uh, what was like number seven on the test. What's the moment of force F2 about point D? Force F2 is this one right here. And it's applied at point C. We want to know the moment about point D. So I need a position vector from point D to point C where the force is applied. I just take the coordinates of D and subtract them from C to get a position vector which I would call R C over O or C over D which is equal to negative 3i which that's negative 5 minus negative 2 is negative 3 and so forth negative 3i plus 5j minus 2k then I plug into a matrix where I have unit vector on the top, position vector in the middle, which is those coordinates, those components, negative 3, 5, and negative 2. And then the components of force F2 on the bottom row, negative 5, 12, and 0 for the K component. I solve the matrix I times 0 minus a negative 24, 0 plus 24 and so forth, negative j plus k. I come up with this is solve the matrix I get 24i plus 10j minus 11k foot pounds. So that's the answer for number seven. Number eight, I want to know the shortest distance from point D to the line of action of F2. So that's just the scalar moment divided by the scalar force. I do the square root of the sum of the squares up here and I get that the <clears throat> scalar moment force is 28.23 foot-pounds. The force F, negative 5i and 12j, is 13 pounds. So 28.23 divided by 13 gives me that shortest distance of 2.17 feet. Number nine, the magnitude of the, the moment of force two about the x-axis. That means I'm taking a dot product times a cross product. I'm dotting a unit vector in the x direction, which I call ux, with a cross product of <coughs> this position vector from R, <coughs> Rc to O. What I want to know is the... <coughs> cross product of the moment F2 about point O, which conveniently lies on the x-axis, makes my position vector really just the coordinates of my C coordinate point, negative 5, 2, J, 4, K. So a dot product times a cross product produces this kind of vector with my unit vector 1, which is what the unit vector in <coughs> The direction of x is 1i, 0k, 0j, and 0k. My position vector is the coordinates of any of the components of the position vector, negative 5, 2, and 4. My force vector, once again, is the same as it was up here, negative 5, 12, and 0. The zeros cancel out. The only thing I have to worry about is 1 times 2 times 0 minus. 12 times 4 is that's negative 0 minus 12 plus is 48. I've got an error there. It's really plus 48. And what I wanted to know is the magnitude. So the magnitude is 48 pound feet for the moment of F2 about the x axis. Number 10, the magnitude of the moment of F3 about the x axis. Kind of a trick question. F3 is up here. It is negative 4i, so it's a pure, it's parallel to the 
x-axis, just all it is is I component. So F3 is parallel to the x-axis, so it creates no moment about the x-axis. Number 11, the moment of a couple, of the couple formed by F1 and negative F1. F1 is here, negative F1 is here. They have the same line of action, opposite sense. So this one's F2 is 2i minus 6j minus 3k. This one's negative 2i plus 6j plus 3k. Opposite sense, parallel to each other, creates a couple. I can take a position vector from the known points and get the cross product of either one of these about the other one's point of application. I chose to do the position vector from B to point A, which is R A over B, which is just subtract the coordinates, 4 minus 5 is negative 1 and so forth, R A B is negative 1, I minus 8J plus 4K. I plug that into a matrix, I, J, and K unit on the top, position in the middle, which is that negative 1, negative 8, and 4 from the position vector. The uh, force components of F1, 2, negative 6, negative 3. I solve the matrix and I come up with 48I plus 5J plus 22K pound feet. That is my answer. Finally, number 12, I wanted to know the shortest distance between F1 and negative F1. So that's the perpendicular distance, perpendicular to the line of action of the force. And that's the scalar moment divided by the scalar force. I take the square root of the sum of the squares up here of this answer on number 11. And I get that the magnitude of the moment is 53.04 pound feet. The magnitude of this position of this force vector, 2, negative 6, and negative 3 is 7 pounds. So 53.04 divided by 7 is 7.58 feet.